awesome USA. The famous Wild West Pony Express was set up in 1860 to carry mail from one side of America to the other. But it didn't last long. Howdy, Bill. Why, howdy, Jim. Here I am, bang on schedule. Although I did manage to run into an ambush again, and I had to ride all through the night in a storm, and the horse got spooked by a rattlesnake, reared up and threw me into a cactus. Wait. Yeah. As if my butt wasn't sore enough, having to spend 20 hours in the saddle just to deliver the mail to you. Here, this is for you, Bill. Why, thank you kindly, Jim. Ooh, I forgot about that. I dig it. It says here they finished the telegraph line running right across the whole of America. Uh -huh. So all I have to do is connect up this here telegraph machine and I should start receiving messages. Well, look at that. It works. Now, Bill. You know there ain't nothing that can get your messages from the East Coast to the West Coast faster than the Pony Express. It only takes us 10 days. Well, Telegraph only takes 10 seconds. I got my first message. It says, Pony Express out of business stop. Tell Ryder to get another job stop. Well, that is just a pain in the butt. Ooh, uh, and so is that. One second, I got me some plies. Oh. That's right. The Pony Express riders' careers were finished in just over a year. Much like most X Factor winners. <laughs> in 1620, it was the turn of the Pilgrim Fathers to settle in America. With the Pilgrim Fathers, you may have heard rather a lot about our notion crossing the ocean on the good ship Mayflower though it's true our journey turned into quite a commotion people report that we sported these hats but that's not true I mean would you anyway the main thing to say we began the USA a little band of religion fans from the East Midlands we all believe slowly that England was becoming less holy so set off for Holland cause there we had friends but in the end seemed the Netherlands would never be the land we planned couldn't stand to remain on that terrain so again we rearranged to start a new nation with our congregation a new and calmer life took a farmer and a builder and his wife and a clerica to find America Ooh, it's a new And we saw plenty of land We thanked God when we found ground A Cape Cod, but it didn't go as planned Couldn't land on the sand A month later though, we made it New Plymouth, man, we claimed it The natives said not, but ran when we shot Moved there, it proved, yeah, that life would be tough Cause we didn't have enough of the right stuff Did you know, had no seeds we could grow Although William Mullins had stacked 126 pairs of shoes in his pack Now that's whack A fishing rod, a plow, a pig or a cow Would have been a much better idea But now there's no food for us to eat Does this mean that we'll meet with defeat? No fun in the new world I'm glad we've arrived here But will we survive here? Yeah, in the new People world People were starving, our numbers halving When the winter winds blew wasn't pretty in our new city, but the natives took pity even though they didn't have to. Man called Squanto showed us how to grow maize, catch eel for a meal, build shelter in the bays. Tribe gave us a feast, our starvation ceased. In 1621, what they had done turned us back from the dead to the living. And to this day, that's why we have Thanksgiving. In Massachusetts. Let's call this New Hampshire. Where I'm from Newcastle, can we call it New Newcastle? 
1866, cowboys ruled the range in America, but the real cowboys weren't much like the ones you see in the movies. No, oh, no. Well, I'm a real-life cowboy, just a quiet, humble fella. That's what we're like, apart from my... Yeah, I'm more of a yeller! Sing songs to pass the evenings. And because the suits are heard, so they won't stampede. Unless Mike sings lead. Shouts every single word! with me on your horse for 18 hours that saddle sore is a curse then feed your horse and yourself of course so beans just make it worse yeah. then you're back driving cattle that's what being a cowboy means moving those beasts from west to east sorry it's the beans cause we're cowboys real life cowboys not like the ones you've seen in the would complain if you still want to be a cowboy join us please you should be aware we have some customs that are strange like saying howdy not hello when you're out here on the range never touch a cowboy's hat never ride his horse so what if i took your old man well i'd shoot you of course fair enough cowboys real life cowboys not like Fought for our rights. Now Mike will do 
was so low thanks to beans. How was that? It's skunk. And now, my friends, I fear that the end is drawing near. Cause we only ruled the range for 20 years. That's right, the cowboy era only lasted for about 20 years. Gory, ghastly, mean and cruel, stuff they don't teach you at school.